Sailing... In the large cross-country competition, a yearly event at this remote village in the Rift Valley attracts Kenyans of all ages. More than 5,000 people registered to run in the various races this year. Event organizers see the competition as a way to nurture talent. We've managed to, 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 to see that the young ones are the ones participating more. We've had about 2,500 of the young ones doing the rest. And uh, sh for sure, I can tell you this country will now have talents and make sure that uh, the supply for athletes to the national team will never, never go dry because of the Latka cross country. Some of the athletes have big dreams of competing internationally. I started this year in Gabon. I was number two. My sister was number one. Now I have built my body so that I can represent my country. My leg has been giving me a bit of a problem. I was supposed to go to Berlin to compete, but I could not go because of my injury. Then I prepared for this Indolat race to try my luck and see how I am recovering from my injury. The Rift Valley is filled with athletic training camps like this one. Jabet Emily was the first of 40 runners to join this camp 12 years ago at the age of 14. Since joining the camp, she has won many competitions. I went to compete in Ethiopia. I came in fourth in the 5,000 meter race. Then I went to Mauritius, where I won a gold medal for the 3,000 meter. Then I went to Colombia. I won a silver medal for the 3,000 meter. Recently, I graduated to compete in the 21 kilometers race. Her best friend, who joined the camp five years ago, is ambitious. By now, I had to prepare for Africa cross country. Now I am preparing for Africa cross country, for the Olympics. I will work with my coach for the training, the help and advice I need. I think I will do well. The competition is getting stiffer as many athletes want to represent Kenya at the 2020 Olympics in Japan. At the 2016 Games, Kenyan runners won 12 of the 13 medals awarded to Kenyan athletes. At this competition, the winners got flowers and tea bags, a beginning for many of these Kenyan athletes who hope to win even greater rewards on the world stage. Mohamed Yusuf for VA News, Dalat, Kenya.